Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric back again with another video. And today we have a new software update for our Model 3, 2020.12.6. Now this is a really exciting update because now this update will stop at stop lights and stop signs. So we are gonna go into the white Model 3, check out the release notes, and then jump right into some testing. Huge thank you goes out to Akrama Tool, Nicola Pro, and Daniel Jelling supporting this channel at the all electric tier. Click the link down below and support this channel for as little as a dollar a month. Let's check out these release notes for 2020.12.6 so we can see traffic light and stop sign control. And of course, this is beta. There is nothing else new. We have dash cam viewer, which we got in the last software update, and out of order supercharger stalls. So here is the settings. So we click on the settings and we of course get a disclaimer because again, this is in beta. You need to remain in control of your vehicle at all times. Autopilot is not full self-driving yet. So please do this safely. Maintaining the control of your vehicle just like Tesla recommends. So here we are in autopilot approaching a stoplight and what we're gonna see on the center display right where the white car is or where your car is rendered we're gonna get a message that pops up and says, it's gonna stop for a stoplight in 600 feet is the longest that I've seen. And then you can simply pull down on the drive stock to acknowledge and say, okay, I understand that there's a stoplight here. I understand that I am in control of the vehicle. It is green and the car is not going to stop. So here we can engage autopilot on another major road and we are gonna get the same message saying that the stoplight is there. It is green, but we have to acknowledge every green light. Now this acknowledgement from the driver helps to validate this new software and gives valuable information back to Tesla. So here we have another green light approaching and you can see from way, way back, I'm able to validate that there is a light coming and I am still paying attention, similar to what they did with the early version of Navigate on Autopilot. During lane changes, they required that you pull down on the drive stock or acknowledge the lane change during each change before they went through several software updates and then the changes became automatic like you just saw in the video. So here again, I pulled down on the drive stock to acknowledge that there is a traffic signal coming up and I'm still in control of the vehicle. Now this is not 100% and here's a great example. Exiting a roundabout, it thinks it needs to stop up here and you can see that by the red line that appears on the center display and then I simply push the accelerator to kind of override that and I'm back in control of the vehicle. In autopilot here, approaching my first stoplight with no other vehicles. And you can see that the autopilot is telling me that the light is red. So I don't need to acknowledge anything right now because the car is gonna to come to a stop just like I want it to. Now, if you don't acknowledge on a green light, it will come to a stop on a green light and we definitely don't want that. Once the light turns green, we are gonna get another message that pops up on our center display to pull down on the drive stock and then the car will accelerate as normal. So this I found was really smooth during all of my testing that I've done. And as far as identifying the color of the traffic light and identifying the location and rendering those on the center display was almost 100% a lot better than some previous software updates that we've seen. So here we make a lane change and then we get the message saying that we need to acknowledge that there is a traffic signal, even though it's green. So I do acknowledge and then you can see that the autopilot will go straight through. So here is another example of the autopilot engage right now. We're getting a message here saying that there is a traffic light coming. This time I push on the accelerator pedal and that is the same acknowledgement. You can pull down on the drive stock or the accelerator pedal. Autopilot going through a yellow light here, but you'll see later in the video where it does stop at a yellow light. Really interested to do more testing at yellow lights in the future. Now, something else I did notice is on smaller two lane roads or on my curvy country road test, I typically am five miles per hour over the posted speed limit. That has since been disabled with this current software. You are not allowed to go five miles per hour over the speed limit like you were previously. Now we do have the opportunity to test out a curve here, but I will do more extensive testing when I do my curvy country road test with this software update. So here's a curve here and it does slow down about five miles per hour, six miles per hour, handling that curve beautifully. 
So we're gonna fast forward here, and there is a stop sign coming up here, but the stop sign is hidden. We're not gonna be able to see it, but take a look at what the center display tells us. The center display knows that there's a stop sign, telling me that they're pulling information from map data. So they know that a stop sign is coming up based on map data, not using the autopilot sensor. As you can see, there's no stop sign visible to the driver. As we approach the stop sign, it's not slowing down yet, but now it starts to slow down and I'm getting a countdown as far as feet goes all the way up to the stop sign. Now there's no white line here across, but it does a great job stopping and then tells me that the maneuver is not supported because of this T intersection. When I pull down the drive stock to tell the car to go in an unsupported intersection, the autopilot said take over immediately and autopilot was disengaged. So now we can see a stoplight way ahead of us and we are getting information on the center display that autopilot knows that this is a red light. So it does stop. Now once the light turns green, I have to go and manually acknowledge that the light has turned green, pull down on the drive stock before the car will continue through. Now when you approach an intersection that has a red light, and especially when there's already a car there, of course it's going to stop. Now it does still give me the notification at the bottom of the center display I, telling me that it does identify the traffic light. Pull down on the drive stock when the light turns green and it will tell the car to go. But like you see here, it does not support turning in intersections yet. Of course, I wanna be clear, autopilot is not designed and Tesla has not said that their autopilot will turn in intersections yet. So here at the center display, we can see that a stoplight is detected and I have not done anything and you can see it's starting to slow down all the way to 15 miles per hour on a green light. So make sure as soon as you see that warning, then you can simply reach down and acknowledge it. Here I see that the traffic light is red, so I don't acknowledge it knowing that the car is going to come to a stop and there's already stopped traffic in front of me. But as you can see, the light is gonna turn green here shortly and then I have to acknowledge pulling down on the drive stock. Once the light turns green, I get that message on the center display. I pull down on the drive stock and then autopilot will begin to accelerate. Through my testing, I've definitely found it best to acknowledge that the traffic light is there as soon as you get the message so that your car doesn't slow down when there is a green light. Now with that being said, be prepared to pull down on the drive stock quite frequently. So in my testing, I had to pull down on the drive stock a lot and it felt like I was doing it all the time. All of this input is valuable data to Tesla to help validate the software and help the autopilot system advance rapidly. So you can see here is an example of where it does stop at a yellow light when I'm pretty far back. If you pull down on the drive stock when there is a red light, the car will start to accelerate. So here I had to push on the brakes so the car would stop because as you can see, the light is still red. So autopilot did disengage when I put my foot on the brake and the car will start moving forward if you acknowledge using the drive stock too early. So here we are approaching a stoplight and I have not done anything because the light is red and I can see that the light is red and the information on the touch display tells me that the Tesla autopilot has identified the light as red. But here, once the car comes to a stop, I get an interesting message that this type of intersection is not supported. Now we saw this before when we were looking at the stop sign and we got the error message. So let's see what happens here at the stop light. Clearly the autopilot system is saying take over this intersection is not supported. So when I do reach over and acknowledge, we get this warning message take over immediately, very similar to what we saw at the stop sign. So it seems that Tesla's autopilot is smart enough to identify when there is an intersection that is not supported, which confirms my suspicion that the public released autopilot software that we're running in this video is sort of dumbed down compared to what Tesla has available to itself, that it's able to identify certain intersections and probably make turns through intersections as well. I wanna reiterate just how wonderfully the car is doing with this new software. So here I acknowledge that there is a traffic signal coming up and I am in control of the vehicle, but it is rendering those stoplights perfectly on the center display. So here, let's test some stop signs. So we can see the stop sign and we're approaching it here, going 10, 11, now six, five, down to zero miles per hour. Now this is also a T intersection and I, when I do engage, I get the same takeover immediately. 
So autopilot is definitely really good at identifying intersections, but it's not 100% yet. Here you can see on the center display that it thought there was a stop sign there. And here you can also see that it thought there was a stop sign right here with the red line going across the screen. Now to just to override these, all I do is press on the accelerator or pull down on the drive stock to kind of override that phantom stop sign. So similar to phantom braking like we've seen before in previous updates. So coming up to the stop sign, you can see that the autopilot system is automatically slowing down, identifying the stop sign, and as soon as I pull down on the drive stock, the car will accelerate or acknowledge that it is passed through the stop sign. So it's not requiring that you come to a complete stop, which I'll demonstrate a little bit in the video. So here we are in autopilot approaching a stop sign and it is accelerating all the way down until I pull on the drive stock and then it will accelerate through. So not requiring that a full stop is done. Here we have a sort of blind stop sign and an unsupported intersection. So it will stop at the stop sign as designed, but then as soon as it comes to a stop and we try to engage, it will say take over immediately because it's hard for the autopilot system to identify where the road is heading. So here we have another stop sign. And again, it does a beautiful job stopping right on the white line. And as soon as we pull down on the drive stock, it will continue on its path of travel through the intersection. So really beautiful job, especially for the first iteration or the first public release of this stop line and stop sign detection. Of course, it's not perfect yet. You can see it's kind of funky in the way that it stopped here and also gave us a little warning, but with some pressure on the steering wheel, it was able to straighten back out. So not perfect yet. So definitely, if you're gonna try this out in your car, pay attention and you are in control of your own vehicle. We're approaching an intersection that has traffic lights that are on the side, similar to what you see in bigger cities. And the autopilot system is doing a beautiful job rendering all four of these lights. Really impressive and a huge improvement over the last software update. Now, as we approach this other intersection, we see that the traffic light is red. And so the car is going to stop for us and there's cross traffic crossing in front of us. So a great job and a great example of how well this stop light and stop sign detection is working. So once the light turns green, then we can pull down on the drive stock and then the car will accelerate through the intersection in autopilot. So really impressive here. And I think Tesla is getting valuable data that is going to accelerate autopilot towards full self-driving where there is absolutely no driver input. But lots more testing needs to be done before we see that. Take a look at this clip here. We are not in autopilot and autopilot is turned off and only cruise control is turned on. So the adaptive cruise control that will automatically speed up and slow down is identifying the traffic signal. So now I engage autopilot here to test autopilot making a left-hand turn through this intersection. So once the light turns green, I pull down on the drive stock, the car takes off, and you can see how the two blue lines are bouncing back and forth and I do have to disengage here. But here's what I'm talking about. So we are just in cruise control, right? We are only in cruise control and it is stopping for a stop sign. So this adaptive cruise control is smart enough to stop at stop signs. So then when we pull down on the drive stock, then it will continue to go through and go to the next stop sign which is really impressive. So no autopilot here, and it is still stopping at stop signs, giving us a countdown 25, zero feet, stopping exactly where it needs to be until the drive stock is pulled down, and then it will continue on just the adaptive cruise control. Here we see a stop sign coming, and the car is identifying it just in regular cruise control which is really cool. So no autopilot here, but although Tesla is still getting a lot of useful data. So here the stop sign is detected. We pull down on the drive stock and then the car will start to accelerate. So I'm doing all the steering here. Tesla is only doing the accelerating and decelerating. So here we also have a traffic light approaching and the traffic light is identified and identified as a red in 300, 200, now 100 feet. And the adaptive cruise control is going to stop at this red light. Really cool how you don't have to have autopilot engage and an adaptive cruise control will take over. And there you see the rendering of the two red lights beautifully done. And we have a little Model 3 friend right behind us. Really huge update for Tesla and a huge milestone achieved for full self-driving. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
share this video with a friend, and don't forget push, to push, hit push, that push, subscribe push button. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.